Here I've completely modeled a Hamilton S12 pocket watch in Gearotic 3. Very good program. Um, you can see the mainspring uh, barrel here. Um, all the gears and have the exact amount of teeth and are correctly sized. Um, I actually um, measured each gear to make sure that it was the uh, exact size of the S12 and had the right number of teeth and then the, um, the pinions and the gears uh, meshed properly um, so that the uh, watch would work properly as modeled. So I have the uh, mainspring barrel here, gear one, and I have the uh, center wheel, which is gear two. Then I had an intermediate wheel, gear three, pinion on the top connecting to the center wheel. Then the fourth gear, gear here is where the second hand attaches. And you can see I've got a second hand modeled on the, uh, on the uh, pinion there, on the pivot. Um, and then I've got um, that then uh, going to the uh, escapement and the escapement is modeled here and I've got a uh, pallet fork on the end here. Um, it's a pin, I believe a pin lever escapement here. And I tried, and when I did this, I tried to maintain all the correct distancing. Um, and I also, for the, uh, the hour hand and the minute hands, I, it was kind of tough, but I modeled that as well. So you can see on the bottom there, right through the bottom, right over here, you can see there's a, uh, a uh, cannon pinion over here. Let me just move that over a bit. And that's that gear represents the cannon pinion. And then it goes over to the... Uh, the minute wheel and then and then uh, goes over uh, to the ratchet and then or not the ratchet the, uh, the pinion for that minute wheel and then goes over to the uh, the actual wheel I think it's a minute wheel maybe it's the hour wheel anyway <laughs> confusing and I had to relate all of these things so that they would operate perfectly and then time perfectly so this is what it looks like in a simulation um, and I'm going to just slow the simulation down just a tad so I can show it to you. It's kind of hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time, but if I simulate this, this is simulated really fast, so let me slow that down. So probably you're looking at a simulation that would be at that speed. So that's that's that would probably be the, the proper simulation. Um, I'm sure if you were to watch the minute hand here and see it you could see it actually moving i guess if you focus on the teeth there you can see the uh, minute ham actually uh, going forward as the seconds go by uh, the second hand is on the bottom and of course that's attached to the fourth wheel and you can see the space Let me just move that over here the space between the hand here and the tooth getting smaller and smaller as this as time goes by as they say now if i increase the uh, simulation there see that space is almost gone now so it's properly properly representing time um, in the simulation but if I increase the um, the uh, speed of the simulation then you kind of see the wheels working perfectly and the hour hand here is moving across its arc um, and it should match up with this and it should take uh, um, 12 revolutions of the minute hand to uh, to cause it to uh, progress by one hour. So if you look at the, uh, the gears meshing here, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, and you can see the um, how this all works in, in one piece. So that is the modeling of a, a Hamilton um, S12 uh, pocket watch. Um, now I could take this model and take each gear and actually send this to a, uh, a uh, CAD program. Uh, within this program, there's a program called VEX, I believe, and, and you can actually uh, spit this out to a, uh, a three-axis CNC machine and cut these gears. So uh, you still have to figure out how to do that. That's the next phase. And I did all this so that in, in the instance where I have to replicate a gear that I have that's broken or, or I've got a pocket watch with a missing gear I can actually make this gear and then ensure that it actually works uh, within the pocket watch so there you go so this is a, a very very good program called uh, Gearotic uh, I learned how to use this very quickly um, it's impressive it's uh, it's all I can say very impressive and I've only 
just begun to learn the uh, power of the program itself. But there you go for all you watch crazy people. This is a simulation of that. And if I were to uh, just show you briefly uh, the watch that it is simulating, um, let me just flip this around so you can see. Uh, this, I'm just going to put this in front of the video here for a second, but this is the uh, pocket watch that I used to build the simulation and all of its little pieces. So, so uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you, you enjoyed it. Um, and it was my first uh, simulation and I hope to do many, many more in the future. And I'll see you later.